the New York tests uh, based on a reservation system that you have to do in advance. You just can't show up. Years ago, you used to show up and, and you know, be 45 minutes early and things like that. But now uh, you have to set up an account through eAccess New York. And when you go to eAccess New York, you will first you have to Google it. You type in Google and you type inside Google eAccess New York. It's E A C C E S S N Y. And when that comes up, you want to set up an account. Okay. And when you set up an account, please, when you set up an account with eAccess New York, pick a uh, email address that you're going to remember for the rest of your natural life. Because if you forget your email address or your password, mostly your email address, it is a true nightmare to try to go through the whole process again. So I, I strongly encourage you to, to use an email address that you plan on taking to the grave with you, okay? And when you set it up, that's how you just follow the prompts and there's no charge to do it. That's how you're going to set up the exam. That's how you're going to go and check your score to see if you actually pass the exam. You usually get your score, and when I say score, I mean pass or fail. New York does not give you uh, a, a numerical grade, not like, like we do at the school. We give you a numerical grade. So uh, what you're going to do is, uh, so you, you can see, if you, within two days, some people say the next day, but overall, within two days of taking your state exam, you will know whether you pass or fail, all right? And we recommend that you take the state exam first and then take the school exam because New York only approves two exams for every school. So if you fail the first exam, then you have to take uh, our backup exam. And, the, and you don't want to take the backup exam. The backup exam is more difficult. And, uh, you know, like life's already hard enough. Why, why take something that's more difficult? Plus, if you fail the first exam, and I can count on one hand the number of people per year that fail the school exam the first time. But if you fail the first time, it kind of hurts your, um, your self-confidence. You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't feel good when you fail an exam. So we tell you, take the state exam first. 95% of people pass it the first time. It's that 5% that may be either bad test takers, they were stressed out, whatever happened, you know, before you got there, I, you know, I don't know. But um, when you pass that, then schedule to take your school exam. That's like the best process. You'll be able to at least get everything done on our end of it. But I still encourage you to take the state exam as soon as you can, as soon as they'll allow you to, which I'm assuming is not going to be anytime soon. Um, and yeah, so that, that's what you do. And then you get a certificate from us. The course is good for eight years. And uh, when you take the state exam, your results are good for two years. So it's, it's even if you don't know what you're going to do in real estate, I encourage you to take that state exam as soon as you can because it's a lot of stuff to remember, all right? And uh, with everything you've got to remember, two years is a lot of time to find a broker to sponsor you because you can't really work in real estate. Well, you can't work in real estate. You're not, to be honest with you, you're not actually considered an official real estate agent until you are sponsored by a real estate broker, okay?